Hey, I'm back after a long absence and stuff coming at me all full force. Like, you ever have your life just start without you and then you just hit the ground running there for a little bit? Yeah, there's that. But um, this video is going to have to be like a short one because it's like a long day. And um, this is basically um, in honor of Black History Month. And um, I recently was able to confirm that our family had black ancestry, not only through a DNA test, but through um, family records and research. But before I found this out, because I was dead. Yeah, like I found out in a very weird way. <laughs> like a couple years ago, like in 2012. I don't know if I've deleted this video on my channel or not. But... Yeah, okay. Like, I had this experience where, like, I had, like, a near-death experience because, like, I had a little hiccup with surgery. And, um, I came out of that and I started talking to my family about all these things, like, about long dead people I didn't know, etc., etc. And I said to my mom, did you know your dad was black? Yeah, he was part black and he had Native American, too, but he was definitely part black. And, um... Thanks to, like, the Jim Crow South and the stuff that is in the South with the way people think, I don't... They, My family, like, assimilated and they tried to hide who they were and everything. And, um, yeah, like, we've read books on this before, like, my family and I. There's, like, several books on this where people try to, like... They're mixed, but they try to be white. And, um, fun fact, back in the day, like, did you know you could pay somebody to make you a certificate to make you white? Yeah, like there was a lot of stuff, but like just from what I was reading, like I actually read like the bit on this side of the family. It was really interesting. I'm not going to name too much because I like to try to keep stuff private. But um, after that experience, yeah, I, I told my mom this and she was like, nah, and she didn't believe me. And like a couple years go by and then like I have these relatives, I'm, I mean, they're great people, but sometimes I just, I don't know, ay, 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 yeah, just, they go, they get a little short-sighted and over the top, basically, this relative tried to act like she knew everything about everybody when she really didn't do her research quite that well, I don't think, and I was able to confirm and find out this thing about that near-death experience, and the weird thing is, like, after you die, though, that kind of stuff doesn't leave you. So I was hearing her voice, and, he and like, that's another reason why I do tarot and channeling and stuff, because I can always... I have hearing that is beyond this world. Don't ask, don't tell. I already investigated it fully. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, so, like, I keep hearing her say... I'm your grandmother, Mary, and, like, I knew her name, her, her name was Mary, but she tried to tell me her middle name, and she kept saying Mary P, Mary P, and I started thinking all these Mary names, and she goes, no, and then she goes, Polly want a cracker, and I start laughing, I said, oh my god, your middle name is Polly, um, yeah, I'm Claire Audient, that's what it is, but, um, yeah, <laughs> and then, little, lo and behold, we researched it, had a DNA test, everything, and this is true. Only like, yeah, I found this out because I had kicked the bucket, first and foremost. And like, I, you could have just knocked me over with a feather. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, it was really fascinating, too. It was wonderful. It was beautiful because it was ours and it, I could, you know, it was just... You know, because I think it was also for my mom, like, reconnecting her father, because my grandpa's been dead since my mother was five. So that's another reason why we had no idea. Like, his mother died young, who was actually the one that, you know, he got it from and stuff like that. And they originally, his family, that part of the family, um, lived in Robeson County, North Carolina, like, for a large part. And, um... Yeah, so, and then he, my grandfather met with, like, my grandmother, who got removed to, like, Georgia, and then they lived in southern Georgia for a long time until most of them all died out, and now most of them, I think, are in, like, Louisiana and Florida and all them places, but, like, still, that's kind of a weird way to find out you're black because he was dead, but 
I'm weird, okay? This is why I make this channel and make this videos. Like, if you also have weird experiences and find out stuff weirdly like I do, drop a line. Tell me, like, a paranormal story about something you were able to confirm. Yeah, because basically, <laughs> the paranormal. <laughs> but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening to my little rant or little story or whatever. And peace. I'm tired. I can't do anything or speak correctly, so don't shoot me.